Uh, can you tell me your name and where are you from? I'm Ricardo de Vai. I'm from Sao Paulo, Brazil. And why did you choose to study in LED program? Well, I think the first decision was to pursue a master's degree. That was a decision uh, I had made uh, earlier. And then one day I was in a road show from several Finnish universities in Brazil. And I was really excited about the offer, the possibilities and the opportunities and the infrastructure offered by the universities. And I was really excited and I talked to my wife and so said, oh, maybe you should look at that more carefully. Mm -hmm. But we just decided about that the following year. There was another road show and then we decided to come. And I was really glad to be accepted at the University of Oulu. And at first I was between two programs. I was accepted in Adglow and LET. But then talking to students who were already in the program and to people really, uh, I realized the, the, the LET was the one I really enjoy, I would enjoy the most and I do not regret. I, I was looking for a, a very practical program as well. I think we had a lot of opportunities to go to the lab to do practical things or overseas projects. So that, that kind of thing was really attractive to me. Okay. Uh, how did the LED program influence your professional competence? Okay, <laughs> well, uh, I've been working in the corporate world for the past 15 years uh, with different programs such as corporate universities, business schools, and in, in responsible for organizing those programs both in terms of methodology and technology like platforms. And I think it was very helpful to help me get a broader view on what uh, education is, on how it can be combined with technology. Uh, I remember a lot of companies say sometimes they buy platforms, but they don't know exactly what they will do with that. They don't know how to organize a program, a development program based on mm -hmm. what they have. So I think it's been very helpful to, to broaden the, both the views in terms of uh, solid uh, research uh, uh, grounds, the, the teachers' uh, conversations we had in the group, I think it was very helpful to to get that big picture. And I think I, I, this is something I can definitely apply mm -hmm. in my day-to-day uh, -day job. Okay. Uh, so can you tell a bit more what you are doing? Sure, now. sure. <laughs> I was just hired by a company in Madrid, Spain, uh, as a learning consultant. Uh, they have a platform, uh, it's called uh, NetEx, it's mm -hmm. a next generation platform. Mm -hmm. uh, that it means it's an online platform, but it's a bit different from the traditional learning management systems. Mm -hmm. In a way that it looks more like uh, Netflix. Uh, it's, you, you look at a platform and the way the courses are, the recommendation, there's a lot of business intelligence behind it. So. Uh, the idea is that to make it more attractive to students because some students they are tired of traditional LMS where they have to you know there's this menu of courses mm -hmm. and things to do but it's it's a very traditional way of learning mm -hmm. and today people are so much into social networks and so it's easier for them and it's more attractive if the learning environment looks like their social network mm -hmm. and so this is uh, a company I've been working for and as a learning consultant I'm responsible for understanding the technology we offer mm -hmm. and at the same time understand the client requirements and try to design a program that the client can get the most out mm -hmm. of the platform. So mm -hmm. this is uh, what I do right now okay. and I used to work for uh, another consulting company but they were more into the academic world. Mm -hmm. They were working for schools in Spain and mm -hmm. now I'm sort of back to the, the corporate world. Okay, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. um, what are your future career plans? Well, uh, th this company, they are planning to open offices in other countries. Mm -hmm. And as project managers or learning consultants, I mean, we, we play the role of project managers mm -hmm. as well. I think I have an opportunity to develop even further, uh, you know, opening new markets and taking this product to different places. So I think this is how I see my, my future career, mm -hmm. uh, working with them and uh, bringing that, uh, let's say, that learning experience 
we don't really call them courses, but we call learning campaigns. There are things that you can easily set up and deliver to your audience, right? So I think this is, I see myself growing that field and uh, working with this company. Yeah. And finally, uh, what are, in your opinion, the best ways to advance professional development? Well, I think uh, this story about lifelong learning, uh, for me, it's been a true story because I'm 51 now. And uh, when I decided to come to Finland, some people thought, they say, well, aren't you too old to learn or to go abroad for a master's degree? They said, well, I think we never stop learning, right? I think this is something that we always, uh, for me, learning is always a challenge. Enjoy learning new things. And uh, so I think there's, there's no, no age for that. Thank you, Ricardo, for You're the welcome. interview. You're welcome.